What's going on there, fellow YouTubers? This is Chris from the Mars Anomalies channel. All right, guys, got a cool one, another cool one. This is going to the moon now. And I don't know if, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this anomaly. Um, it's just crazy when you see this thing. Anyway, um, one of my subscribers, Louie Louie Louie, <laughs> that's what he goes by, his name, uh, his username, uh, sent me a link to Orlando Santos's uh, Google Plus page. And let me just jump into that and see what we've got here. Um, this is his page here right here so you know i'm glad that you know thanks louis for sending me the link now i've seen this this anomaly before and here it is i call it the plasma moon it's kind of a uh just this weird thing now i don't know if they wrote to him or if it was just simply on nasa's page but this was their uh explanation and it shows right here it starts from here a bright light uh, bright lightning like feature is found on small number of images um, this type of blemish is the result of a spark caused by static discharge. As the film moves through the camera system, static charge is built up, and when discharged, an image of a spark is captured by the film. These features typically originate at the edge of the image and branch inward. The sizes vary greatly from small, discrete bright spots to encompassing an entire half of the metric image. In the affected area, uh, images, I'm sorry, uh, the spark may take on many different forms, Several examples are given below. Of course, he's only got the one picture here, but I've seen the other ones uh, that were posted before. This list is by no means inclusive of all of uh, these spark images. And the retort, you know, the light is focusing on grid lines on a flat surface. Go to max zoom, you know, uh, uh, use 400 times magnifier on the computer. And and we got some people that weighed in on this and stuff like that. I'll give you guys the link to that. You can check that out. But... You know, what's crazy about this thing, now this is Apollo 16, and I think this was, um, yeah, it was on uh, 421.72, I think it was uh, right here, yeah, 421.1972, this is a panoramic, this is what I have a problem with though, we can just jump right into this, right here, now, they say it's just a blemish on the page, okay, and you can see right here the grid line, see that right there? going across but they're also going horizontally not just diagonally one two but they're also going horizontally now i believe a lot of these have been stitched together okay but what's crazy about it it keeps going watch this it's still over here right there and there's another one right there so whatever this is now my question is and i've zoomed this way in um, actually I did, but I don't have it anymore. Um, I guess I got rid of it. It doesn't really matter, but I zoomed way in because you can, you can really see the actual grid lines. So it tells you, you go, okay, so if these were stitched together, which would make sense because a lot of these panoramics are stitched right here, right here. And it keeps going guys. It's all the way down. You can actually see the lines going through it right here. So if these are stitched, that means there's many multiple pictures. So how does it just happen in one, but yet they're all completed this way? Why would NASA do that? Why would NASA put a whole bunch of pictures together to have this laying here? Or is this, and this is, <laughs> they've never done this before, is it nothing more than a distraction to get the eye off what's really here? And you know me, guys, I've done pictures on the moon, and what I've done was not only showed you the natural picture, but I also showed you the flip side. You don't think this is, you'll find this pretty interesting. Okay, here's the picture here. Now, you can see, again, it continues all the way to here. One, two, so on and so forth. Now, what I do is to make sure, I think this has been put here. Now, maybe it hasn't, and that's fine with me too, because if it isn't, and it's actually in the picture, I don't, again, I don't know why NASA would do that. Why would they put something on this moon, um, you know, just to, you know, just leave it there? Because they hide everything that's got to do with the moon, so I just find it very puzzling. So I think, again, that they're hiding something. So what I did was I took this area right here, this docking area, to see if I could find anything in here, perhaps like a um, some kind of structure, some kind of something laying around. I did find a couple little interesting things. Um, these kind of like these square-looking objects, like right here, there's one. Kind of distorted, but nevertheless, it's there. And it has this right here, right here. Um, there's one right here looks like square and it's got a docking area and it looks like lighter here and then it has a larger base square to it and it comes down i mean you can see like plenty of these square things on the left here with that dot there's another one here and i'm saying to myself oh man it just doesn't there's got to be more to it than this 
So anyway, so I decided to go back to the regular pitcher right here. Okay. Now this is what <laughs> this is great. As soon as I started to get into this pitcher, crazy things jumped out. Now I want to leave it up to you guys to tell me whether you believe this is nothing more trick of the eye. Or if you believe there's actually something here, like structures, tubes, roadways, whatever. I'm going to leave that up to totally up to you guys. Here we go. Let's invert one step. What the hell? Come on. I mean, I looked at this and I just right off the bat, I saw a city. And I don't mean like New York City, but I mean, I see structures sitting right on the side. And this is only the first, you know, enhancement I did after inverting. But look at this. One, two, one, one, two, three. Just... One, two. This has actually been a, it's like blurred together, but one, two, one, two, three. Look at all of these things all together. Look at this. Going across, going into here. Now, of course, this goes into this area here. Look at this. One, two, three, one, two, three. This is too organized. I'm just going to back up just to here. This is way too organized to be nothing. There's something coming out of the ground into this. Now, what I wanted to show you guys was you got to think in a, if you were to look in an inverted way without inverting it. And what I mean by that is, this looks like an actual crater. These do not. What would happen if you inverted this? Well, this would suddenly turn white. This would be a shadow. This looks realistic. This looks like crap. Now, this may also be fake, but it looks more realistic than these two. I believe all of these, see all of these? These have been colored in to hide what's really there. And you've got shadows, or it's just the way they built these things to maybe hide from... Uh, other alien races or whatever just to hide whatever they want under this larger canopy, if you will. But watch this. Right there. Watch this. It's got a shadow under it. This has been completely um, contrasted out. And But look at this. One, two, and there's shadows under them. Go back to it. See the way that looks? This is just a big blur mock. This has been completely taken out. So it makes you wonder, what is going on here? Okay, this is more lighter. Let's get into the more darker part of it. Okay, I'm, I'm seeing like these things that are too... They're just too much, like they're put in place purposely. They, they don't look like just random boulders laying on this moon. It just doesn't happen. Um, again, you got one, two, three. Now, we don't know if there's multiple things sitting here. I showed you that. I did a comparison. I've taken Manhattan City, and I've actually blurred that and purposely distorted it to give you an idea that one of these little white squares could be multiple four, five, six structures sitting in there. But again, look at this coming right out of the ground into this area. And there's something that might be larger going into the ground as well. Something else coming from it too. We don't know what this stuff is, but this, whatever this is, looks like it's multiple level. Like the highest one, it goes down lower here, has a shape to it. Okay. I mean, just look at these Look at the way these things, these objects, is just sitting around. They are just placed. There's just no way this is simply... Let me do this. Okay, I blurred it up a little bit because I want to get rid of some of the pixelation. But check this out. Looks like a... Well, I'm going to use the term center road or space. But there's one, two. Like they're, like they're just parallel with each other. Look at this. One, two. Are these tubes, roads, whatever they are. One, two, three. These things are just not accidental. To me, these are the real deal. Look at this. Structure here. One, two, three. One, two. All of these things are just laying about. No, they've got they've got meaning. They've got structure to them. Um, let me bring it way down here. Now, look at this. That is just crazy to me. I'm going to get in too close. And like I said, these are just not accidental. This has been built. This has been intelligently built stuff. Look at one, two, three. One, two. Just stuff laying all over the place. And it looks like it has roadways or tubes or something. Look at this. Something right there. And it has its own, like, almost like its own area or a piece of land sitting right there. They have a purpose. They're here for a reason. These things are just not accidental. They don't appear that way to me. Now, check this thing out. Whatever this is distorted, but one, two, three, four. It branches off here, goes like this, comes over to this one, has this area here. Look at this. Here. One, two, three. One, two. They're like perfect. Look at this square piece. These, to me, are structures. Now, of course, again, you guys give me your take. 
Um, one, two, three. Just these, all these things, look at this, comes up, goes around, goes back down to the, the surface of the moon. Um, now, if that doesn't really convince you, I'm going to show you another area that just stands out to me. I'll do the different filters. You guys can stop this anywhere you like. And you guys can always tell me if you guys want to see these up in, um, if you want to see them up on Google Plus, let me know. You guys can study the pictures yourself. In fact, I may throw them up there anyway, uh, just to give you guys a better idea. But again, these this looks like intelligently made objects and structures sitting on the ground. They're just too, uh, I don't even know how to explain it. Like I said, it's been done purposely. Check this out. One, two, three. One, two, one. And you can just see like it, like there's little things, and you can call them roads, tubes, whatever you want. It looks like it's connecting these, these particular little structures or whatever these are. Okay. Now let's jump to the other side of this wannabe crater. Now watch this. Again, there's a lot of stuff in this picture, guys. This, there's one thing in here that really blew my mind. It was pretty cool. But let's, I think we got to go to, okay. Check this out. Look at the way these things are. There's one, two, three. And if you look very closely, there's things coming out of them, like tubes, roads, connecting each other. This is not accidental. This is not just, just standard rocks. Look at this. Over here in the middle, things coming off each other. Look at this. Looks like a structure. Again, something right here. Something large right there. Come down to this. Look at this. This pot. I'm going to call it a canopy for argument's sake because it looks like a flat roof or whatever. But look at this. Something coming right off of it, co connecting into here. Look at all of these things. They're just they're placed perfectly. They're not just an accident. Um, look all over here. Looks like it's coming out of this DACA area. Look at this. One, two, three, four. Going off in different directions. And like I said, they look like they're just placed perfectly. Look, Check this out. This bigger structure looks like it's got an open ground, like it's been blasted away to put this structure here. And look at the little roads and tunnels or whatever these are going off, branching to these other ones. This, again, I, I can't stress it enough. It doesn't look like just standard, you know, rocks laying around. Um, this right here has this large structure standing up. I don't know if you can see that, but right there, there's one, two, three, four, five, six things around that. Um, is that accidental? Is it nothing more than just a simple rock? I don't think so. But to me, I, when I just see these, I'm looking, I'm going, what the heck is that? I'm saying, look at this is, again, it's been cut out and it's something right there. But there's all kinds of what looks like tubes, roads, something connecting all of these things. So to me, this is what they're really hiding, guys. I don't believe that that, I mean, it's a possibility that, that you know, that anomaly, which looks like a plasma or some kind of electric lightning or whatever that is, um, that it could be real. Now, or was it just be there to just, you know, throw us a curveball, if you will? Um, you know, everything, you know, I don't know. I just look at these things. And I see things connecting. I see, I see structures many of them little ones together like these right here one two three one two there's just you look at a very tiny little you know uh these would be very small because it looks like the altitude of this thing is pretty high so whatever this stuff is it looks like structures and of course like i said you guys will get the last word on this and tell me if this is nothing but just you know i'm just seeing things or uh are you guys seeing the stuff the same way i am I'm going to go over this real quick. And like I said, guys, if you want, I'm, in fact, I may still do that anyway. Um, looks like something very large here with a base. I don't know what, the, like a rectangular base there. Sometimes you just look at these things. you got to look in the dock areas, too. You can just see these, like, oh, one, two, three. Like, there's other structures and other little things just laying around with each other. One, two, three. Let me see this one here. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, and a larger one here, six. One, two, there, one. And it looks like it has these little connections. Somehow they're connected with each other. Is that rock? Is it giant boulders here on the moon? Something tells me no. Like right in here, look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Look at them all. Just laying there. I didn't go through a lot of this because I didn't really go, you know, uh, this far down. I just wanted to show what really stood out to me. And to me, this this really stands out. Uh, nothing and you go to there see that and like I said this looks like some kind of weird tower or something laying here 
and it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, like I said, six things going around it. I don't know what these things are, guys. To me, they're structures. You know, but like I said, you guys can give me your take. I'm not going to make this one super long, guys. I just want to show you this because to me, this is just, this is crazy. And I think this is what they're really hiding on this particular panorama. And I haven't even been through this whole picture, guys. I really haven't. This would take me a long time, but let me get a little something to drink here. I was just looking at this and I was just going, wow. The more you stare at this thing, the more you can see more and more little tiny objects and anomalies in between all of these bigger ones. Okay, do the do the blue filter or, you know, let you guys check that out. Like I said, I see, <laughs> I'm just looking at this stuff right here, and I'm seeing these things, crazy stuff right here. Let me do the six right here. One, two, one, two, one. And like I said, you can see what looks like these little roadways. That's just crazy. One, two, look at all of these here. One, two, three, four. One, two. And it looks like it's been cut out. Like it's been blasted away. The ground's been blasted away to put these two objects there. Um, look at this. What the hell is that? Anyway, guys, give me your take on it. I, I really do wish, you know, I'm going to try to do some kind of uh, Google uh, meeting type thing so we can actually get on. So people who have been on there for many, you know, who's been my followers for quite a long time, maybe we're going to try to do something like that. We can actually get on there and talk and uh, you guys can, you know, we can uh, do like a meetup place there. And we can talk and stuff like that. Kind of throwing that idea around. Um Anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think of this stuff because I saw this and I was just completely blown away. Um, there's just way too much in these pictures to believe that this is just absolutely nothing. And like I said, they just, they've been, this is no accident. It just really isn't. All right, let me back out of here. Just wanted to show you that. All right, guys, like I said, weigh in. I'm sure you guys have seen this yourselves. It's been out for quite a while. Uh, well, you can see with the picture uh, when that was taken as far as uh, the Apollo uh, 16. Um, let me just check something here real quick. Yeah, let me see. Apollo 16, panorama. Hold on. Here's your date. You know, your coordinates. If you guys want, like I said, I'll give you the this link. You guys can check this stuff out yourself. Get any one you want. The JPEG, raw scan, do whatever you want. Check this stu the stuff out yourself. Is there something else to this anomaly? Is it nothing more than just, you know, is it fake? It looks too clear to me, guys. I don't know how to explain it. It just it just looks crazy. Um, let me see. Let me do this. This is what I've got right here. I've, I've actually zoomed the heck out of this. It almost looks like these weird hair follicles <laughs> sticking out. See it? But to me, it looks too smooth and just, I don't know. You guys weigh in. Let me know what you guys think, because I'd be really curious. Um, I just, I seen that. I was just like, you know, and I've seen this for quite a while. But now that I'm really getting into it and studying it, I, I always think when I see something like that that they didn't take out of a moon picture, it just makes you question. And maybe there's something larger that they're hiding. And you got to investigate these things. Maybe there wasn't. I could have got on there and it could have been nothing but rocks laying over there. It doesn't look like rocks to me. But again, as always, you guys get to weigh in. Anyway, guys. Appreciate you guys uh, watching this as always. Share the picture, share the videos, give me the thumbs up. Let me know you guys are on board. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw these particular pictures, uh, the inverted ones and the uh, filtered ones. I'm going to put those up on the Google Plus. Look for those a little bit later. And uh, that's it. Got some more crazy ones coming. I actually have one from uh, uh, a gentleman named, uh, he goes by Forbidden Knowledge. Um, he's been wanting me to do the 67P for quite a while. And, um, uh, I believe uh, Christian has done that recently, but, you know, he's actually asked me to do this as well. Well, not Christian, but uh, this gentleman, uh, Forbidden Knowledge. So we're going to try to get to that, too. I've got everything. Oh, my God. i got so many of these things in a back burner, and, um, and so I apologize, apologize for not getting to that one right away. But we're going to get these things going. we got a lot more coming up, guys, so just stay tuned for that. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciate it, and I'll see you next pick.